You know, I I completely understand and respect people that have, you know, political ideals and political goals that they are very, very dedicated to, right? I, I understand that type of dedication. I completely understand, you know, the, the efforts, you know, the the sheer the sheer will that these people will invest in their political ideology. Uh, even if it's against their own family members. <laughs> Antifa activist goes viral bragging about lawsuit against landlord for demanding rent and it turns out it's his grandma. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Okay. Goodrich locked his Twitter account after it was revealed that his landlord is his grandma. It seems that that was a little... Uh, tidbit of uh, information that he decided to keep from everyone. Um, a militant Antifa activist went viral recently after filing a complaint against his landlord for tracking his coronavirus stimulus check and demanding rent, but he conveniently left out that the landlord is his grandmother. <laughs> like, that's... <coughs> <coughs> got the Rona. <coughs> I got the Rona. Don't worry, I don't really. It's just... Uh, it's summer. <coughs> it's summer and there's a lot of pollen. Don't worry, this this is just what happens. My eyes are also uh, on fire. I'm trying not to rub them. But still, to get back on to get back on point. That's not what Mao said. Mao didn't say file a complaint against your grandmother. No, no, that's not what Mao said. Mao said <laughs> Mao demands that you pick up your AK and you murder her. Right? Like, that's what Mao said. Kill, kill your landlord, Goodrich. You're supposed to go outside, breach quarantine, <laughs> Bre breach quarantine, and then come home and just cough all over her. That's, that's all you need to do, you know, in this modern age. But then again, if you went out and break, broke quarantine, uh, you would be helping the economy, you would be helping helping that Dow climb back up, and that's also against your beliefs. So uh, you're, you're in a very tricky situation, Goodrich. Very tricky. Austin Goodrich, 22, received an outpouring of sympathy for his situation after filing the lawsuit. Oh, so it was a fucking lawsuit against his gran. <laughs> in Oregon, on April 22nd, the complaint said that the actions of his landlord left him feeling overwhelmingly violated and vulnerable. Then why did you enter into a rental contract? Why did you enter into a rental contract? The actions of his landlord. I'm trying to see, like, did she demand you pay? Or did she just ask? Goodrich was demanding that his grandmother waive all rent due until the end of his lease on June the 30th. Waive all due and past due amounts. Return his security deposit and give him, give him an excellent rental reference. Jesus Christ. So basically... You have upset me, therefore you must give me all of the time that I have been in your property for free. And even though I have been an absolute cunt about this, I demand that you lie <laughs> to the next place that I rent from. Jesus Christ. Since she did not respond to his absurd requests, he filed a lawsuit. And uh, yeah, those are absolutely absurd requests. I mean, like, give me all of my, you know... Give me everything for fucking free, even before the lockdown, and even though I have the money to pay it. Like, that was literally the point of stimulus checks. Like, I'll admit, not as much as uh, an actual wage, but the point of stimulus checks was for you to pay off your basic necessities and buy food. There's a lot of companies that are, like, forgiving stuff and, like, understanding that you need to take a while to pay it, etc., etc. There's companies that are doing that. The point of stimulus checks is so that you could pay your necessities. Rent is considered a necessity, right? That was the point of the fucking checks. There's his little... There's his little tweet there. I have, at the advice of my attorney, filed a lawsuit against the property manager and the landlord. Take a look. Look, look guys. Look at my... Look at my activism. <laughs> look at my activism against the pesky, smelly landlords. And it turns out it's a little old lady. <laughs> Goodrich tweeted that his landlord had texted him hours after he received his stimulus money asking whether he planned to use it to pay rent. Because that's what it was for. That's what the stimulus checks were for. To pay your necessary bills and also to pay for food. 
that's what it was for. So she asked you, are you going to use your trick for what it is for? You know, the whole, the whole reason you were given the money. However, the defendant is not only his grandmother and landlord, she is also his tax preparer. Oh, so she also does your taxes. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that a really nice thing for your grandmother to do? You know, most people, accountants, fucking charge you up the arse for doing that type of work. But your little grandmother did it for absolutely free. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Goodrich confirmed that TLC bookkeeping and tax prep is run by his grandmother, but said he does not associate with her outside their tenant-landlord relationship. Local station KGW8 reports, hmm, you don't associate with her, then uh, how did you get the apartment in the first place? If you don't associate with her. You know, you're really expecting everybody to believe that you have absolutely zero relationship with your grandmother and you do not associate with her, even though you're living in an apartment that she owns. Really? Really good, Rich. All right. Okay. Uh, Goodrich previously made waves uh, when he helped shut down a college Republican event at Portland State in 2019, according to a report from the Post Millennial. Okay, so he's, a, he's an authoritarian. He's an authoritarian that likes to shut down events. Hold on, in fact, I'm going to see if I can actually bring up uh, this image. Oh dear. Just going to zoom. Right, so let's, ha let's, have, a, let's have a read at this. You've probably heard the story about my landlord circling the internet. I would like to take this opportunity to highlight the gaping holes IRS new security and verification system which allows for anyone to access it using minimal information. See my statement below. Also, so it was the fact as he tried to hide it. He tried, he knew fine well that it was his grandmother, but he tried to hide it. And the reason he tried to hide it is because he knew everyone was going to call him a piece of shit. He knew that what he was doing was wrong. Right? That, that's what makes it fucking worse. I mean, see if he just turned around and went, I'm suing my grandmother, then, you know, you could kind of say, you know, the guy's obviously a bit of an idiot and doesn't realise that that's a little, little bit scummy. Right? The guy's obviously just completely socially oblivious. But the fact is, he tried to hide the fact that it was his fucking grandmother. That means that he knows what he's doing is fucked up. Uh, in light of this event, I am exploring options for myself with my attorney, but this is a problem that extends beyond myself. For every one landlord or debt collector that admits to this illegal intrusion of privacy, there might be a hundred out there that don't. Sounds like he's diverting to another issue. Address, address it, Goodrich. This breach of privacy was facilitated in part by the IRS's failure to provide Americans with a secure system to check the status of stimulus payments. I'm a computer programmer. Given my background, I came with two actions in the federal government. Hold on. Blah, blah. Fucking blah. Oh, I thought this was an admittance. Oh, did he not admit? Did he not admit that it was his grandmother? Oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Yeah, that's all bogus garbage. I don't really give a shit about that. Let's let's just get back to the to the article. Uh, one anarchist Antifa disruptor with a bell was able to shut down the Michael Strickland Portland State College Republican speech as soon as the event began. Campus police and admin was there, but just stood and watched. They said they couldn't do anything about the disruptor. Andy No. Tweets from Andy No. The far-left activist claims that he publicly attacked and is suing his grandmother to bring attention to IRS vulnerabilities. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure that that is exactly why you're suing your grandmother. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, maybe, maybe this is true, maybe it's not. You know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to throw this out there because this is what I believe happened. Maybe you work, maybe you don't work, Okay. Maybe you are still working, you know, you might possibly be in a, in a job that's deemed an essential service, so you are still working. Or maybe you aren't working right now because you're at home quarantined. So you get given this uh, stimulus check, you get, given your, you get given your Trump bucks, <laughs> right? And your grandmother found out about it and went, are you going to use it to pay rent and everything? But you had plans for the money, you know? 
maybe maybe you had plans to buy yourself a, a great a great big fat pack of reefer and a crate of beer and have some friends over or maybe maybe you were going to buy the new fifa or you were going to buy an xbox or you were going to buy something like that you know you were going to you were going to use the money for things that it was not intended for like that's not the reason that you were given that money it was to cover your basic essentials like a lot of people out there are using these stimulus checks for their essentials because it's literally all they fucking have it's all they fucking have left, right? A lot of people are fucking praising the high heaven for these fucking stimulus checks because if it wasn't for them, they'd be out in the street and fucking starving. So why do you have such an issue with using the stimulus check for the actual purpose that you were given it for, right? The point of the stimulus checks was to pay things like this. You're then suing your own grandmother because she asked you to use your stimulus check for what it's fucking for. Goodrich locked his Twitter account after it was revealed that his landlord is his grandmother. Now, that's something that you should have then dealt with internally, right? That's an internal family issue. I mean, the point of uh, getting asked about the stimulus checks, getting asked about the stimulus check to a full-blown lawsuit, that was very short. It was a very, very short time span. It didn't seem that there was a... It didn't seem that there was a lot of, you know, parley with the grandmother. It didn't seem that there was a lot of chat, but I mean, Jesus Christ... I mean, say for example, you know, there's points in time when it can happen. Say if there's certain issues and you've exhausted all possible, you know, diplomatic approaches to it. Like, say for example, your apartment is absolutely run down and falling apart <clears throat> and your grandmother is refusing to bring anybody in to fix it. She's not, you know, keeping the apartment up to a safe, livable standard or she just comes out and throws you out in the street, violating the lease for absolutely no reason, and if you have, you know, if you've absolutely exhausted every single diplomatic approach, then, you know, fine, possibly, possibly a lawsuit might be in order, if you've exhausted every diplomatic approach with your own grandmother. But, I mean, asking you when you get handed your Trump bucks, are you going to use that money for the intended purpose that it was given to you for? And then you start contacting a lawyer. How are you paying for the fucking lawyer? Is it your Trump bucks? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. I mean, my, my grandmother used to fucking boot my arse whenever I swore when I was younger. I'm going to sue her. I'm going to sue my grandmother. She's still alive. She's in her, in her 70s. Near, no, in fact, she's near, nearly in her 80s. Doesn't fucking look it, but she's she's sealed away. I went I went to visit her, but I just stood at the bottom of the stairs and shouted up. I didn't go near her. We make we make sure she's got everything that she's got. She's fine. Don't worry about it. My gran my grand's a my grand's a lovely person. She's been to prison a few times, but she's a lovely person. <laughs> but I this is uh, this is really shitty. I, I I know why this guy did this. He's anti fat activist, left wing, you know all that stuff and he's like look guys i'm fighting back against the evil landlord capitalist bastards i mean imagine fucking over your own grandmother just so that you can collect some little social good boy points among your political ideology i mean jesus christ i mean like for example i'm a free speech activist <laughs> do you want me do you want me to sue my grandmother because when i was younger she wouldn't let me swear she violated my free speech. <laughs> she, she used the implied threat of a smack on the arse, or sometimes the back of the head, if I used if I used one of the bad bad words, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna sue my grandmother for for violating my free speech, and then I'm gonna collect all the all those good all those good social points for being a for being a good a good little activist among my among my political peers. I mean, Jesus Christ, bro. Selling out your own fucking grandmother over politics, man. Like, fuck's sake. I hope your fucking lawsuit falls through, man. <laughs> what a fucking dick. <laughs>